Welcome to Why Does Nothing Work? In this series of tutorials, we're going to learn NixOS, from installation to building your own packages and modules. In this episode, we're going to be focusing on Raspberry Pi. Let's get started. If you're watching this, chances are you have a Raspberry Pi that's already running something like Raspbian. If that's the case, leave it as is for now, and we're going to use that to build our custom image to install NixOS. So first, log into your Raspberry Pi, and we're going to sudo apt install nix hyphen bin. This is going to install the nix package manager, which you can run on Debian. And then we're going to want to go down, download a nix flake and a configuration file. I have them on my GitHub and I'll post a link there. I've already downloaded them on this machine. So first thing we're going to look at is the nix flake. What this does is this tells the nix, nix command that we want to build an SD card image for this architecture, Raspberry Pi, our ARM64, and that we're going to be using a file called extraconfig.nix. We're also defining a default user, admin, password admin123. For this, don't worry about putting the password in the config file. This is only going to exist on the first boot until we log into the Raspberry Pi and actually configure it. But one thing with our, the Raspberry Pi images for NixOS is they're kind of finicky to set up. They kind of assume you're going to have um, a serial console hooked up and SSH is disabled by default. So we're just going to set up our extra config so that we have open SSH enabled, the firewall is disabled, and it does seem we have to specify the open SSH package. The image generation doesn't pull it automatically, so you'll want that there as well. Ready? So what we're going to do once we've got that is we're going to go, we need to take this line here. Now as root, so sudo nix build, and then it's going to tell us that we need to add this command. And it's going to tell us to do that again, but instead of putting nix command at the end, we're just going to write flakes. Let me make this wider. Then we're going to put the dot pound that dot sd card ready and then we hit enter it's going to start downloading and building our custom sd card image on a raspberry pi 4 this will take about 10 minutes depending on your internet speed it's not that bad and there we go through the magic of editing we're already done and this will create a sim link to the actual result file right there. So what we're going to want to do is transfer that to your workstation or whatever you're using and write that to the SD card. Um, you can you can actually use the tool that the Raspberry Pi imager comes with or I like to use Belena Etcher because it's very simple. So we'll just fire up Belena Etcher. And you just select the image we just created, open, select your target, and hit flash. Then we're going to go take that over to a Raspberry Pi, pop the SD card in, and power it on with the new one. It will be, it'll be set to DHCP, so you'll need to check your router or whatever you would normally do to find its IP address, um, or you can hook it up to a keyboard and mouse. I know what mine is, so we'll SSH into it. There we go, we're logged into our new system. So the first thing we're going to need to do is switch to root. And we're going to do a nix channel dash dash update. Next thing we need to do is nix os generate config. It's going to auto detect all the hardware and do everything that we need 
to make our system boot. Now before we do a rebuild, we have to edit our configuration. There's a lot in here. Let's just look for the SSH line and comment that. Let's find the example for a user. We'll just we'll just use that to add our admin back user back in. We don't need to set the password this time, but if you the user's not there, NixOS will remove the user when you do a rebuild. So make sure you use, set your user there. Okay, now would be a good time to change your password. Just set it to whatever you like. Now let's do a NixOS rebuild switch. And that's it. Our Raspberry Pi system is ready to start configuring. In this episode, we generated a custom Raspberry Pi SD card image using a Nixflake, booted it up, and did the initial configuration to make our system bootable. The next steps would be doing more advanced configuration, which I have a tutorial for on the channel, and I'll link in the description. The Nix flake and configuration file used will be linked in the description as well on my GitHub. Thanks for watching.